Hi, I'm Jason Bayes with Stretched, and this is part two of our Stretch Your Lung series, a series of exercises that you can do at home to help stretch your lungs and increase your lung capacity. So I'm gonna start with having you laying flat on your mat, and you're going to stack your shins and your shoulders and forearms to one side. You can use a pillow or a block underneath your head for comfort. And what we're going to do is start with nice, easy breaths. You're going to inhale that arm towards the ceiling and let it reach towards the wall behind you. And then on your exhale, you're going to come back and stack those shoulders, forearms, and keep the shins stacked as well. So on this inhale, since we're focusing on really expanding the lung capacity, I really want you to think that like these ribs are expanding, fanning open on the inhale. And as you exhale, completely pulling that belly button in and letting the abdominal region and diaphragm region pull up into the rib cage, completely expelling the air. Again, taking a deep breath in, fill the rib cage like a big balloon that you're trying to inflate. And then exhale, pull that belly button in towards the back region, towards the spine. And each time you do this, you might notice you get a little bit farther, you get a little bit more of a, of a stretch. It's a great stretch for the low back, the chest, and the abdominals. And we're just gonna do four to six reps of each of these today, but you're welcome to do as many as you like. We usually do about eight to 12 in the studio. Exhale, release. Now bring your knees towards the ceiling to switch sides. You can scoot your hips up and over a little bit and then drop to face the other side, stacking the shins and the shoulders. Inhale the top arm up and over. Now if you're really tight in the chest or in the back, you might notice your arm doesn't get quite as low. That's okay. Bring it back to center. Inhale up and over. Again, each time, hopefully the arm gets a little bit lower, but don't force it. Focus more on the breath here. We have these low ribs here that are literally fanning out with every inhalation. So you just want to encourage that, giving them more space, relaxing the muscle tissue here to help them achieve that maximum capacity. Breathing out fully each time, inhale, we have to give ourselves a constant reminder to completely exhale because some of us tend to hold on to our breath, especially in moments of stress. So these exercises can aid with managing any sort of stress uh, symptoms as well. So having your hands under, underneath your forehead, you can look to one side. This next one's gonna stretch your diaphragm and lungs and abdominal region. When I say lungs, I mean the chest area. So you're gonna bring your elbows underneath your shoulders and there's a little bit of a back extension here, a little bit of a puffing of the chest and take a deep breath in. And then exhale, release down and you can look to the other side just to relax the neck. Come back up. Now, even though I am stretching the abdominals, I am keeping them engaged a little bit, hugging the abs in towards the spine to protect the low back, but also letting them stretch out. So it's an eccentric contraction. It's engaged, but lengthening at the same time. Again, we're gonna bring this up. Really feel like you're pulling the mat towards your hip bones with your arms. They call this a sphinx pose in yoga, so you're making this cat-like shape. Open up to the other side. And then again, come into this back extension, pull the elbows in towards the, the hip bones. Take a deep breath in. Feel, feel the belly wall release. And then you're gonna go ahead and roll over one last time onto your back. We're gonna end with some breathing exercises that you can do anytime really, laying flat or sitting down. Place one hand on your chest and one on your belly and just take a deep breath in and try to see if you can let most of the air fill into the belly region first. And then towards the end of the inhalation, you might notice the chest rise. Now exhale, release. And completely let everything descend, particularly the belly button pulling in and slightly up. 
Try this one more time, really directing the breath low. You might even feel some expansion in the low back region. And then try exhaling on a sound. So either like an S, like a S, or a F, like you're blowing out a candle. Just slowing out the exhalation to give the lungs the time they need to really uh, absorb as much of the nutrients from the air um, that we work so hard to get. So this is a very common exercise. The American Lung Association um, it suggests doing this exercise on counts. So what we'll do is we'll inhale for a certain count, hold, and then we're gonna try to exhale for twice that amount of time. If you don't make it, that's fine. You're gonna build on this exercise over time. So we'll start with three. You're gonna take a breath in for three, two, one, hold for three, two, one. Exhale for that sound. Three more counts, two, one, all the way out, and so forth. Let's try this again for four. Inhale, one, two, low belly breath, four. Hold for four, keep the throat relaxed, three, two, one, and out for eight. And even longer if you need to, to let everything out. Going in for five, here we go, inhale, five, four, three, nice and low, two, and chest last, one, hold for five, four, three, two, one, exhale for 10 if you can. Four, three, two, one, completely out. So keep going in that manner. Maybe eight or 10 is the longest you can go today. And maybe the next day you're able to add it by one number. We hope this helps and we hope you can breathe a little easier.